All right, guys, welcome to today's market review. So had a few good trades today. Um, let's go over what we saw on the market today. So first things first, market dumped today because of bad earnings from banks. We saw banks like um, Bank of America, JP Morgan, etc., have terrible earnings, right? But we saw a strong rally right back right at the open. So what does this mean? Maybe a liquidity grab for market makers, maybe just them faking out um, everybody thinking that we were going to create a uh, top yesterday and then make new lows. But SPY bounced right at yesterday's low, right? This was yesterday's low. We bounced right here pre-market and then just cut, continually just went up for the most part, right? Um, when we zoom out, guys, we cleared that 200 MA on the daily that I was discussing um, in our video the other day. And then again, we are basically just doing what now? We're basically reaching the upper end of this channel, right? We've had this bottom end of the channel, and now we have this top end, which we are pretty much heading towards, which would be the 50 MA on the weekly. Weekly has momentum now, um, and we saw a big surge in a lot of names. NASDAQ right at that level guys right at that 200 ma right at the top of that trend line next week's going to be a big week keep in mind i did post about how um spy may be looking a bit overextended but you have to realize a lot of these tech names haven't moved at all yet right these tech names haven't moved too much up so just this week alone was the only week that we had a big explosion up so if we can see that the nasdaq push higher we'll also see spy push higher as well Told you guys my favorite thing though is going to be the Russell small caps in this bounce back. Had a nice move weekly close above that 50 MA. Clearing this resistance here. Breaking up and looking for a target of 1980 or so next week. So we'll see what we can do with this continuation move up. Also nice move in crypto as well. Not going to touch on that but you can see here uh, big moves up from that uh, 16K level on Bitcoin. Um, as well as 1200 or so on ETH. So a couple trades today. Trades today that I took, um, Tesla, Tesla, I tweeted this out for everybody. Tesla was a very easy trade. Um, there was news yesterday night at about 11 p.m. Eastern that uh, they Tesla cut the prices of um, their model, their cars in the U.S. They did this uh, a few days ago, actually, in China. And what happened was when they did that price cut in China, there was a big dump. I think, I'm not sure if it was this day here, the 5th, or, or this day. I'm not too sure, to be honest. But um, there was a giant, it might even have been um, yesterday, to be honest. I'm, I'm not too sure. I know it was one day this week. Forgive me for not knowing the exact day. But that exact day, there was a big dump right at the open or pre-market. And then towards the end of the day, the stock actually turned green. Okay, so I thought this would be a similar scenario. Why is it uh, a reason for a dump? Well, it means that they're cutting into margins, right? If they're selling the cars for less, they're going to make less money. Um, but that also means that they could possibly have higher sales, right? So we saw a bunch of downgrades from a bunch of banks come in for Tesla, um, which is why we saw that big move down pre-market, but it was able to recover very strongly. We actually took a trade right off this low here. Uh, we had a tight stop. It would have been below 115, okay? And um, we're looking for a move uh, back in uh, to that 125 range, which was our target. We actually had a swing yesterday, um, so we added to it here, right? Because only one day's move, just basically the same move that it did yesterday. We have a week's time uh, on that, and we were able to capitalize really well. On my personal account, I even took some zero dates on this and held them right about to 119 or so. We'll go over that in a second. Um, the Twilio trade that we went over is doing really well also. Obviously, same thing. Had a little bit of a pre-market dip, but broke clearly above that 52 range. And now we're clear skies right back to 55. Um, hopefully, again, filling that gap to 64+. plus. Um, I like Sha uh, Coin exploded as well. I want to keep this as short as we can, so let me wrap this up. But Coin exploded as well. I told you guys Coin was on my list. Top favorite, especially with that weekly flex. Right, we can break back up to that 20 EMA. Coin's been battered, beaten, and abused. So the fact that we're getting this crypto pump up, some good news from Coin uh, with the SEC as well. 
um, stock could make an explosion back towards, uh, you know, easily has a two, three X still from here once everything's, um, you know, safer with crypto, right? There is no safe, but safer. Uh, lastly, Shopify just took a trade today. Um, pretty much towards the close. I actually meant to take this one earlier when it broke above here, um, 3750, but I didn't have my alert set like an idiot. Uh, anyway, we cleared that 200 MA. I like shot back to 40, um, even 40. Uh, four plus next week so 40 or 44 i know it's a big difference but 40 will be our first trim and then we'll hopefully ride it with an explosion of 44. um really quickly we'll look at uh my tos did really well today um why does it always do this man ba, 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 ba. Uh, i didn't have this sized right so forgive me guys there we go all right, so here's my TOS. These are the positions I have open currently on uh, my personal account. Um, up 29,000 pretty much for the day. Was actually down today about 25,000. So from PL low to high, up about 53K. Did great. Um, overall on the account now, Netlick sitting at 308,000. Up from 50K. So we're up to uh 258k for the year guys already love it absolutely loving it crushing it and um hoping to continue challenge account also is sitting at right above 17k we started this year on the challenge with about 6k but uh hope you guys have a great weekend Marcus closed monday see you later